Harry and Meghan share an adorable picture of baby Archie holding on to his dad's finger to celebrate the prince's first Father's Day, as it emerges he is set to be christened at St. George's in Windsor next month. Prince Harry and Meghan posted today an adorable photograph of Archie in a touching tribute for Father's Day. In the sepia-toned image shared on the Sussex Royal Instagram account, six-week-old Archie can be seen cutely clutching the Duke of Sussex's finger. The prince's wedding band is also clearly visible. Alongside the snap, which has so far been liked 451,483, the caption reads, Happy Father's Day! And wishing a very special first Father's Day to the Duke of Sussex copyright Sussex Royal. It comes after it was revealed that Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor is to be christened in Windsor next month in the chapel where his parents were married. Wearing a replica of the vintage lace gown in which his father was christened, young Archie will be welcomed into his faith in St. George's Chapel in Windsor, where Harry was baptized in 1984. Today's previously unseen picture is the first glimpse the public has been given of the young royal since his toes appeared in an Instagram post on May 12, to celebrate Mother's Day in the U.S. Meghan and Harry shared the image when Archie was less than a week old. The post of the baby's feet in front of Forget Me Not Flowers was liked more than two million times on the social media site. It was captioned, paying tribute to all mothers today, past, present, mothers to be, and those lost but forever remembered. We honor and celebrate each and every one of you. It came soon after the royal couple showed Archie off to the world for the first time when he was just a few days old but even then his head was partially covered by a hat and blanket. So, the public were delighted with the new photograph of Archie which was released today, where his tiny nose and eyes can be seen peering above his father's hand. The gasp we all had at seeing this. I love it so much and I'm so happy Harry is finally a dad and not just a fun uncle. Congrats, wrote one, while another commented. What an adorable picture. I love it. Thank you very much for sharing your Royal Highness your happy Father's Day, precious little boy. A third added, Oh, I am beyond happy for Harry. I feel like he's been longing for this season of his life for years. Bless their whole beautiful family, while a fourth penned, I have been waiting for this picture since this morning. Meanwhile, another rook the opportunity to compare the picture of Harry to his father and wrote, He's a spitting image of his father wow looks exactly like Harry on his christening with Diana. Smitten Harry introduced Archie to the world alongside proud mother Meghan when the newest addition to the royal family was just two days old. Announcing his arrival on May 6, the Duke said, This little thing is absolutely to die for, so I'm just over the moon. The Sussexes are raising seventh in line to the throne Archie in the sanctuary of Frogmore Cottage their new bolt hole in Windsor Home Park in Berkshire, close to the Queen's residence Windsor Castle. The Grade two listed 10-bedroom property is set close to the winding lakes, wooded mounds, glades, walks and bridges of the gardens at Frogmore. Hands-on Father Harry has been relishing his new role as a parent after years of watching others bring up their families. The Duke said at Archie's first photo call at Windsor Castle, It's great. Parenting is amazing. Despite Harry and Meghan's obvious willingness to deviate from royal orthodoxy in their social media style, the christening looks set to be a traditional affair. The Queen's eighth great-grandchild, born on May 6, will be two months old when water sourced from the River Jordan is poured from the lily font in the chapel over his forehead. The ceremonies are likely to be conducted by the Dean of Windsor, the relevant David Connor, the Sunday Times reported as well as the Archbishop of Canterbury Justin Welby. Meghan is believed to have struck up a close relationship with the primate since he baptized and confirmed her into the Anglican faith two months before her wedding. Prince Charles and the Duchess of Cornwall are expected to lead the royal party at what will be a relatively intimate event. Archie's uncle and aunt, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, are expected to attend but Her Majesty the Queen will be absent, on other duties. She attended the christenings of Prince George and Princess Charlotte but missed the baptism of Prince Louis last year. The day's young star will wear a replica of the Honnet and lace gown Queen Victoria commissioned for the baptism of her first child. The gown, first worn in 1841, 
has been worn by 62 royal babies including Harry and his older brother William, but the Queen deemed it too fragile for continued use so a replica has been created, and most recently modeled by Prince Louis at his christening. Royal christenings are usually private affairs, with invitations extending only to close family and friends, and chosen godparents. It is not yet known who will be the child's godfather and godmother. Long-standing friends of the royal couple, the prince's former equerry Mark Dyer and the duchess's close friend Jessica Moroni, are likely candidates. The chance that some member of Hollywood royalty, perhaps Amal Clooney, who attended the baby shower, is cast as godmother or father is considered much less likely. The Gothic Chapel is where the Prince and Princess of Wales had three-month-old Prince Harry christened four days before Christmas in 1984. Baby Harry was said to have dozed and behaved impeccably during the private ceremony, but became tearful during the reception until he was comforted by his great-grandmother the Queen Mother. Boisterous toddler Prince William, who was only two and a half, charged around, running between the guests as they chatted in the castle afterwards before taking center stage in the official photos? The chapel is just half a mile away from the Sussexes' home in Frogmore Cottage in the grounds of the Windsor Estate, and will also serve as a poignant reminder of their wedding day. The Duke and American former actress Meghan staged a glittering royal wedding in St. George's on May 19 last year. The royal household did not comment.